I've always wondered how they did it. Convinced entire civilizations to start counting. The days, weeks, months, the years, time, settling in right at home through rain and snow, leaving its mark on our faces like the feet of crows. I remember being a child and wishing it would move faster, and then all of a sudden, like a river pulling stones, it was just moving too fast. Time. The giver and taker of lovers and fathers and mothers. The alpha, the omega, the thing we desire the most and fear all at once. Time. We always hope we have enough and although they ease us into the reality that nobody ever really knows exactly how much we have, we always seem to be surprised when it runs out. I guess all good things must come to an end for new things to have a chance. Time. If you could bottle it up and keep it forever so that it never runs out, would you do it? Nearly four. And, uh, and you, JJ? Nearly 15 months now. The Strategic Sea Command, the SSC, thinks you're both just about tops. Oh, thank you. And that's why I brought you out here today to the middle of this lake. To talk. <laughs> Only incidentally to fish. Is it safe? Well, the boat's been gone over from stem to stern. Clean, no listening devices. We'll keep the motor idling. So, uh, what we say will be for our ears only. Now listen, both of you. To begin, you both know what our energy situation is. Of course. The last drop of oil was drained out of the entire... <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Look, I don't want this to happen to you again. Our dreams exist like memories in the depths of our subconscious. We hope the good ones last forever and pray the nightmares melt away with the pain responsible for planting them. They hide away buried deep wandering somewhere lost within the labyrinth of our DNA. Truth, a subjective onlooker, wavering somewhere in the spaces between Earth and infinity, and universe and sky. Look closer at your hand. Can you see it? How tightly woven together are the stitchings of your skin? How long have we been here? 20. So when you, when you say I died, you mean like I, like I died, died? And where are my clothes? And when I left, I remember the light and then now it's dark and I don't know. 
know where I am and how do I know you? Look, calm down. I'm Malachi. Malachi? Yes. You know me like I know you. And I know you like the back of my hand. I know your favorite color is turquoise. I know you love puppies, but hate cats. I know you like your back rubbed at night so you can fall asleep. I know you won't eat tomatoes unless they're cooked. And you hate that your mom calls you back to back to back to back. But you accept the phone calls anyway because you realize how valuable time is. This year. But why am I the same and you're different? Those damn Instagram filters. Who's Instagram? Yeah. You, you know what? I'll explain later. But listen to me. This is not going to make any sense to you. But 10 years ago, you died. So I created this temporal displacement system a that- A time machine? A wise man once told me that death is nothing to fear. It's just a creative opportunity to reinvent oneself. I wanted so badly to believe him, but the truth is I think we're all scared out of our minds. A plane crash suicide, heart failure, murder, how will it end? No one ever thinks that death is just around the corner, although we know there's no way we'll make it out of this life alive. Over time, if, if we're lucky, we come to learn that the only thing that separates the darkness of the tomb from the darkness of the womb is perspective. Only God decides what will become of us. Or does he? So if you're the one with this technology and I'm just your girlfriend, why would they want me dead? I don't know, Jay. But I'm not sure how much time we have. So, I need you to tell me, what was the last thing you remember? What do you mean you're not sure how much time we have? Well, technically speaking, time travel was only a theory. But there was a 50% chance it would actually work. And it did. The fibers of your DNA, well, copies of those fibers would exist only temporarily in this time zone. How much time, Malachi? Mm. How much time? Five days. Five days, Jay. So let me get this straight. 10 years ago, I was murdered and you brought me back to this place in the future called Instagram just to tell me that I only have five days. You want me to spend those last five days searching for the person who killed me? I need you to help me to find these people to make it right. And God willing, you'll give us more time. But what if we are God? Comfort. One of the many things we take for granted when we think we have a lifetime. Don't you find it strange that we hardly acknowledge it? It's like... We expect it and then get all up in arms when it leaves us, even for a moment. And somehow, when it's been gone for long enough, we stumble upon it in the strangest places. I got it. I got it. Okay, listen, this is good. We can get the killers to come here. That would be perfect. Why would you do that? Do you trust me? 
Well, my mom always told me to trust my elders, so... <laughs> very, very funny. <laughs> Are you hungry? I figured I'd order out. Uh, maybe get some Uber Eats. Uber Eats? That sounds like a terrible restaurant with dirty bathrooms and cockroaches. I think I'm good. It's not a restaurant. It's an app. It's like Instagram. Well, not the same, but anyway, you order the food and they bring the food to you. So, you know, a lot has changed in 10 years. And when you say they will bring you the food, who are you talking about? Uh, the driver who picks up the food and brings it to us. What? So you mean like a stranger like goes and picks up your food? What if they eat your fries? Well, it's no different than the pizza guy bringing the food, right? He's a stranger. Then the restaurant would be accountable, right? Anyway, I'm not really hungry. And I got something you can eat. Some say it's an emotion, but I think it's more like a spirit, an energy possessing the willing in their most vulnerable moments, a hunger that knows no logic, no boundaries, and no resolution other than to be fed and to think all this time we thought that sex and religion were polar opposites. Today, I find it hard to tell the difference. About this one. Hmm. I got that one because it reminds me of you. I remember. I remember my brother. We were gonna go get matching tattoos. Mm -hmm. And we were driving down La Brea and And then what? And we, I was driving his car because mine was in the shop and we stopped at the grocery store to get eggs. And then we were gonna get a birthday card for our dad. Jay, look, I need to know what you saw. What do you remember? Tell me what you saw. We only have three days left. Nah, we don't have three days. I only have three more days. And you get to live out the rest of your life no matter what happens to me. And all the people that I loved, all the people that knew me, they've probably gone through the five stages of grief a million times by now. And I can't even talk to him and I can't see him because you got me locked in this room. Instead of spending time with the people that I love, Do you love me? I've always wondered what it would feel like to look a tiger in the eyes. And then I did. The only difference between a tiger eye and a human eye is reason. I suppose you thought I was going to say hunger, which probably would have made more sense, but on that day I learned that the only thing more compelling than hunger is truth, that undeniable knowing that no matter how far we travel, we will always return there, to the root of our true selves. Yeah, you're beautiful, you know. Even when you're angry, 
I want to leave. Now, why would you say that, Jay? You know I'm just trying to help you. How do I know that? Well, you died violently. You traveled through time for an entire decade. So you might be experiencing some PTSD. I just need to know how much more you remember. Here. Do any of those look familiar? Why are you showing me this? Look, Jay, you have to trust me. I mean, you know how much more you remember. No. We're running out of time. For as long as history will let us remember, man has found a way to place himself above another using money, cars, diamonds, and even the color of his own skin as a weapon of mass oppression. In a man's world, everything has a price. How did they convince us to pay money for water? And though he's tried a million times, the one thing that man can never bottle up and sell is true love. I can't believe you remembered your training. Why can't I go outside? I never said that you couldn't. You didn't have to. You've ordered food every day and you do that weird thing with your eyes every time I get close to a door or a window. I just don't want anybody to see you. I mean, how am I going to explain to everyone that my dead fiance is walking around the neighborhood? Fiance. Remember when you said that you don't like jewelry and that wedding rings? were like dog collars? No, I don't. You may not remember, but I do. I was planning this for that night. I made reservations at the restaurant. Me and your friends were there waiting. And you never showed up. We thought you got cold feet until we got the call. Marry me, Jay. What? <laughs> we only have two days. Well, is that a yes? Nature, our most faithful lover, calling us every morning in the form of a whisper when the sun peeks his head over the clouds, resting soft like pillows gently singing us to sleep with the sweet lullaby of seduction as sunset caresses us from head to toe. With a mere gaze from behind the mountaintops, we long for sunray kisses, and we never seem to mind the forward blades of grass as they tickle the bottoms of our bare feet. Not even forever could keep us from returning to her. Time and time again. Damn it. <laughs> Do you have to be good at everything? Not really. Remember at the gym? You always perform better when the stakes were higher. Mm -hmm. Let's make a bet. Okay. If you win the next round, you can do something special. If I win, I get married tonight. Mm -hmm. If I win... We get to go to Blockbuster and rent all the movies and binge watch them. Uh, if we only had that kind of time, Jade. But if you do win, I'll let you go outside. Okay. Mm -hmm.
You win. I get to go outside. Tomorrow. So this is what the world looks like in 2020. Where are all the flying cars and holograms? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Look at me. 2020. Hashtag time travel. Jay, what are you doing? Tell me you did not post that. I, I was, I just recorded on your phone and say, and I recorded a video because I wanted to remember. In that moment, it all made sense. Why making love to my fiance felt like fucking a complete stranger. Why none of the stories he told me felt like me. In his twisted mind, he justified stealing my invention. Greed, obsession turned to envy and murder. A reflection of the darkest side of humanity. According to Malachi, he had loved me for a lifetime. 147 lifetimes to be exact, but I could never love him back. No matter how long he spent chasing me through time. Memories are like caterpillars existing in a calm state of naivete and then one day they find themselves cocooned, tucked away in darkness. And with one trigger, they remember who they are, emerging as butterflies, strong, worthy, beautiful, and free.